hate to say it, I think this place could also be another dogging location. This place definitely has something dodgy going on. I've just had the eyes from a bloke that literally just walked past my car. You are not going to believe what I've just found online. Oh my God, some bloke just walked past my car again. Oh my God, you can't see. I'm gonna turn the light off. Okay, bye-bye. Tonight, we are back on yet another stealth camp. car is an absolute mess. I've got a bit of egg sandwich there and more crumbs and all of that down there. I've really let my standards drop. It's feeling good to be back in the galaxy yet again for another stealth camping mission tonight. As I've just touched my wipers, do stop that noise, please. It's been about 10 days since I last stayed in here. And the last video, as you saw, was with my girlfriend, but she is now back in France, or not back in France, she was never there. She's now in France working. And now me and my right hand are gonna become best friends for the next five months. I have missed you, buddy. Tonight, we're gonna to be heading down to Cobham Service Station, which if you're from the south of England, you're probably aware of it. I believe it's on the M25. It's just a massive, big service station with lots of food and lots of shops inside. So that's where we're gonna be staying tonight. Anyway, it's probably gonna take us around 40, 45 minutes to head down there. And as always, once we're there, we will scout out the location. We'll check if there's any ANPR cameras, I think it's called or whatever is going on security wise and we'll try and find a nice place to stealth camp for tonight. Oh yeah, she starts first time. I filled up my petrol the other day to 100% full tank. 80 quid it cost me. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like man with a kiss. Oh, look at this bastard trying to sneak in. Lilla, they're trying to get in. Oh, he's going to try and sneak in up top. Nope, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Let's not let him in. Sorry. No. Way. Oh, God. He's not getting in. Queue up like everybody else. I know some people are going to say, Will, you're an absolute idiot. You could have caused an accident. There is some truth to that, but also principle. Don't come on the right outside lane and try and cut in. Be like everybody else. Be patient. Wait your turn. And we'll all get through this together. not been here in a long long time cars coaches caravans food court hotel this is going to be a fun stealth camp it is a very built up busy area obviously later on this evening it probably won't be that busy but there's so many lorries hgvs i think they call them i guess there's a lot of lorry guys that come here and sleep I'm just gonna park very simply right now. And then a little bit later on, we'll find somewhere more stealthy to stay. So I guess now is the time to say, welcome to home for the night. idea if there are any cameras that check you coming in or out I'll have a look for some parking signs to see if there's a limit on how long you can stay here but to be honest with you I've not got a clue so I guess I'll find out along with you guys
This place is so, so busy. I know that's not surprising considering this is one of the busiest motorways in the south of England and it's a massive service station with everything under the sun, but it is busy as hell in there. I grabbed myself a chicken katsu curry. So for once, I'm actually just gonna be sat on the driver's side eating, which is quite nice. There was a parking sign which I took a picture of because there was quite a bit of lengthy information about it. There are parking fees that apply for if you stay longer than three hours, which is obviously what I'm gonna be doing tonight. There's free parking for hotel guests, but I don't have a room at a hotel, but I might try and wangle speaking to the hotel staff, something along those lines. I have really no idea at this moment in time how are we gonna get away with this? There is free parking for specific vehicles only in designated areas. And the issue is I have no idea where those designated areas are. One thing that I've just realized, or I should have realized before I even came here, is how noisy it is because the M25, the motorway is just there. You probably can't pick it up on the camera, but trying to sleep here, you, I'm not gonna get much sleep because you can just hear the cars whizzing past. Oh, ha, ha, ha. that is a hefty, hefty portion of chicken katsu. Delicious. Okay, the game plan now is to actually go for a proper scouting mission. You got the RAC coming to help out this VW that's probably broken down. Oh, additional parking. That might be quite a good spot. Is there anywhere to park down here? Uh, definitely in the wrong area. I'd like to stay there. That would be good. There's a place there with all the lorries parked up. Okay, so after much deliberation and contemplating, and after flying the drone, I don't think I'm gonna even try and stay here tonight. With the sign saying that I could get a hundred pound fine if I stay longer than three hours and the fact that I don't fancy pushing my luck anymore with covering up number plates and doing anything else illegal. So I've decided we're going to move on swiftly out of here. I hate to say it because I feel like I've failed. I feel like I've let you down because I know a lot of people watch these videos for the risk aspect of it, but it's just not worth me ending up in prison or getting a hefty thousand pound fine for number plates or a hundred pound fine for staying more than three hours so also the fact that these stealth camps they're not meant to be you know in dodgy places sometimes yes they are just for the fun of it but i use the app park for night and i actually have found a really cool quiet secluded parking spot only a couple of minutes drive away which is right next to a lake and it's completely free i think anyway so I figured, why not head there? I can wake up in the morning, in the middle of nature, listen to the sound of birds and hopefully some fish swimming, even though I don't know how you could hear that. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll head to a nice foresty area and stay there for tonight. I hate to say it, but I'm going to. I think this place could also be another dogging location right off the m25 so anybody who's tired looking for some hanky panky can have a good time and there are woods right at the back why on earth do i always find places like this see why is there somebody just sitting in their car over there and another person over there there's a van there there's a few cars there you see what I mean about being a dogging spot? Right next to the forest. And somebody's literally just walked out. Why are you walking your dog at this time of night? Surely not. Honestly, this place definitely has something dodgy going on. I've just gone for a wee in the trees over there. Some guy turns his engine off, starts walking towards me. No dog, no nothing. Maybe he needs a bit of fresh air. Maybe he also needs a wee. But now he's just gone back to his car. I think I'm going to sit tight here, watch the football because there's Champions League on tonight, and then see how it 
progresses in the evening because I really don't want to put on my fancy lights and all that kind of stuff. This is the first time I genuinely feel like I could be in a popular dogging area. It does make sense to be fair, just off the motorway. A few moments later. Nah. There's a, you can't see. Can you see? There is a bloke just there behind a tree. Oh God, what's he doing? What's he doing? Don't come here, mate. I'm actually scared. Oh God, hold on. This bloke has been doing circles around the car. Imagine if I turn the lights on. I probably have a queue of people outside. I've just had the eyes from a bloke that literally just walked past my car and he's walked straight into the forest and another bloke in another car just followed him. Why on earth would people be here? It only makes sense that they're here for one thing. Why do I have to come to these spots? I could move, I should move really. I can even still hear the motorway. I might move, I don't know. How do I get myself into these situations? If anybody knows if this is a popular spot to come to, then let me know. Please confirm or deny in the comment section. I'm almost 100% sure that this is a dogging spot. There is blokes just sitting in their cars at nine o'clock on a, what day is it? On a Tuesday night. I know I'm doing it, but I'm filming a YouTube video. Oh my God, some bloke just walked past my car again. Oh my God, you can't see. I'm gonna turn the light off. Okay, bye-bye. What's this bloke want? Mate, I'm not here for anything, I promise, other than to watch the football. You are not going to believe what I've just found online. I just typed in the location where I am, which is called Ockham Common Boldmere Car Park. And I've just typed it in on Google with the word dogging after it. And it's come up with a few links. And some of the websites that come up, the first one here says, homophobic, no buggery poster pinned up at a known dogging site on Ockham Common, which is where I am now. A homophobic poster prohibiting buggery has been pinned up a tree known as the dogging site in the county. It adds, gentlemen, if you really can't find love in the specialist establishment or online, please clear up after yourselves. To think that I was stealth camping initially at a service station and now I am in what seems like the gay capital of the dogging world. It all makes sense with all these cars coming in and out with people keeping their lights on and all these men that keep walking in and out. Why is there a bloke just in the forest having a cigarette? I'm gonna close this blind up. I've had enough of this. Nah, there's two blokes in the woods. <laughs> nah, what's he coming out the woods for like that? This is creepy as fuck. I am getting out of here. This is why we're moving. <laughs> Cars everywhere. People sneaking off into the woods. This is not my scene. <laughs> so it's time to get out of here. 20 minutes later and we found a new spot with no creepy people walking around the car. Oh, I can relax. So as you saw, I decided to leave that place which I was just previously in because to be honest, I just didn't feel comfortable. There was a lot of grown men walking in and out of the forest, walking around my car, looking at me. I tried to film a few of them, but it's a bit difficult because it's pitch black and obviously I'm pointing a camera at them. So yeah, just didn't feel comfortable or safe there, especially as my car doors don't seem to be locking tonight. So I thought, you know what? The best solution is to drive somewhere else. Whatever was going on in the previous spot, enjoy yourself, have a great time. I'm just not into all of that, so I would rather find a place where there's nobody parked. And right now, I've just come to a place called Newlands Corner. Never been here before. Potentially, I could get a parking fine. I really have no idea. But I'm going to stay here tonight, and in the morning, there should be some actually really nice views of the countryside. So hopefully, I'll be able to show you that with the drone. It's been a really hectic last hour, umming and ahhing what to do, where to go feeling a bit uneasy but anyway we are in a safe secure location a lot of people ask will do you ever get nervous do you get scared the answer most of the time is no but today the last couple of places i just haven't been feeling it so i guess a top tip for anyone camping or car camping whatever if you don't feel safe then yeah head somewhere else where you do right guys i'm gonna head off to bed 
It's only about 10 o'clock, but it feels like a lot's happened tonight. I'm going to use this blanket, which I had in here in the last video, instead of using the sleeping bag, because I don't think it's going to be getting too cold tonight. I say it's not going to be getting too cold, and it says it's dropping down to minus 2, minus 3. So maybe I will get the sleeping bag out. It doesn't feel very cold right now. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the morning, and of course I'll show you exactly where we are. Should be some hopefully nice, beautiful views of the surrounding area, and also we'll cook up some breakfast, and I'll show you the process of all of that. Absolutely beautiful morning it is. Check this out. Well, a bit of a fail on the drone flying because there's a max distance that I can fly away in this area but I will go sit on a bench and I'll show you the beautiful views that I'm surrounded by this morning. This has to be one of the nicest spots that I've stealth camped at in a long time. It reminds me of the first time I ever went car camping because these were the types of places that I was coming to, just out in nature, peace and quiet, wake up to the sound of birds, squirrels running in the trees. Oh, it's peaceful. A lot better than the service station and the dodgy, dodgy second place we went to. just warming up the gas canister in my jacket because it's that cold it's only about two degrees and uh, butane doesn't work very well when it's cold temperatures so the onions are taking quite a while to cook come on come on I'm a sunny side up kind of guy. Who else likes their eggs flipped? Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Bit of mayonnaise to top it all off. Name me a better way to start the morning. Wake up in nature and to top it all off, a double egg fried onion mayonnaise wrap. Mm. Right, it's just starting to get a little bit busier in here in this car park. So that is my cue to head on out of here. I'm going to end the video here guys. I hope you enjoyed joining me on yet another stealth camp. This one was all over the place from the service station to the dogging area, but ended up in this lovely little spot. Thank you all so much for watching and your continued support on the videos. It doesn't go unnoticed. All of your comments, all of your likes and messages on social media, I really do appreciate it. It's time to boogie on out of here. So as always, I will catch you in the next video.